My name is Simon Allison uh, and I'm the coordinator for the DeafBlind International Youth Network. Uh, the purpose of the networks in DeafBlind International is to have a collaboration between professionals and DeafBlind people uh, in many countries who work together focusing on a individual specialism. Uh, the Youth Network was founded in 2014. Work has a membership of over 60 young deafblind people from over 15 countries throughout the world and each year we provide a couple of activities for deafblind young people throughout the world. Uh, the first activity was at Euro Disney in Paris and we had a total of 30 young deafblind people who enjoyed three days of the Disney experience. It was a wonderful occasion working exactly how networks should do, uh, sharing that experience with your peers internationally from a range of countries uh, and all the young people could empathise with their peers uh, looking at sort of the world through someone who is deafblind. We've been over to Zurich, we've been to Denmark, and there was an exchange visit between young deafblind people in the UK and Western Australia. Uh, the Youth Network has produced a book called A Glimpse of Our World, which is a series of testimonies written by young deafblind people telling their life stories and experiences within their on countries. Uh, the Youth Network also has a eFriends project at the moment in which young deafblind people use various methods of technology to communicate to each other uh, via email. Uh, this is great for young deafblind people who can't actually come along to all the activities then they can maintain this uh, these friendships via uh, social media and email contact. DBI presently has 13 networks. The networks work in line with the DBI strategy and ethos of an international group. The youth network is extremely proud to be part of DBI and as we go about with our activities we wish to promote the work of DBI and all the good work they, they do. It is hoped that members of the youth network will actually be the future when it comes to promoting equality for deafblind people uh, internationally and breaking down the barriers uh, and hopefully a world in which deafblindness is recognised as an individual disability and collectively the young people from the youth network and share their experiences of, of any barriers that they face in their individual cultures and their countries and, and share strategies to overcome such barriers.